PSA. Um, so I'm here to do my senior reflection for the, the VSA blog, and I'm gonna try to do this vlog style because I know I can be a pretty long-winded writer, and although every single thought of that is extremely heartfelt and thought out, you guys don't want to read all of that. So I'm gonna hopefully try to put a little bit more of a personal take on things. Um, so yeah. Okay. So, four years with VSA, I have so much to say and I cannot possibly even put everything that I want to say into, into a single video. Um, it has been an ongoing conversation in my life and an integral part of my personal development for the past four years. I can honestly say with 100% certainty that I would have transferred out of Georgetown three years ago if it wasn't for VSA. And VSA has made an impact, a huge impact in my life. And through VSA, I have been able to use it as a vehicle to make an impact in other people's lives. And I can see that through the development of new leaders, of the friends that I've been able to get to know who have found a home with VSA. I didn't join VSA through the conventional, you know, student organization track. I didn't sign up for it at SAC Fair freshman year. And I think I may have purposefully not signed up for it, or it was, um, I couldn't even find the table, I think that's what it was. But I couldn't say that I probably spent a good semester avoiding VSA. And I came into college with a very conflicting identity. Like, I um, didn't hang out with a lot of Vietnamese people back back home where um, I grew up in Northern Virginia. Even though there's a pretty sizable community of it, I didn't associate it with anything cool. And, you know, I just didn't feel a strong desire to, to identify with it, but... When I came to Georgetown, the thing that shocked me was that I had seemed to be the only Vietnamese person in my class. And that's not even an um, inaccurate, you know, take on it. I couldn't find a single person who I identified with immediately as, as Vietnamese. And I think that's important as a part of my journey to say that it was because of that I felt very alienated on campus. I felt that there were important aspects, important aspects of my experience that Georgetown didn't recognize. And it was, it took me having to be isolated in that way, to step away from my community in order to let me know that this is what I want to do that this is an important part of who I am and if I'm not going to take initiative to promote its culture and its awareness no one else is going to. So I took on a strong leadership role my sophomore year which was extremely unexpected because I'm not a leader like I did not identify myself as someone who's charismatic who you know had strong leadership potential. I was the shy kid in the back of the room who kept quiet and asked a lot of questions and did my work. In high school, I would come into class with actually literally stacks of manga, which is a Japanese comic books, and just sit in the back of the class and read them all the entire time. I was that person. And for me to step up into a leadership role was a huge leap for me. And it was scary because I didn't think that I would be successful. I asked a lot of advice. I asked for a lot of people to, who have been in my shoes and who have been successful in community development to kind of give me feedback and give me a direction that I, want, I took this in. But the one thing that I had that was very powerful and kept driving me was my passion. And I had come into Georgetown not thinking that I gave a damn about my identity, but 
it was through a challenge that a friend gave me um, that made me realize how important it was in that he basically said to me, you know, VSA is a lost cause and it's not going to amount to anything. And I took that extremely personally because it was, VSA I felt like was a reflection of myself. And for him to say, VSA won't amount to anything, it was like him saying to me, you know, you're not going to amount to anything. And I was enraged and infuriated. And because of that, I pushed myself to, to take on, to kind of jump into the things with a, it was a, what can I say, like a blind leap of faith. And I didn't expect to get anything out of it. I just really wanted to prove them wrong. And that I wanted to develop something that would let me be proud of who I am. And that's what ended up happening with VSA. It was through the awesome teamwork that I was able to, you know, really help push this community much, much further than I had ever imagined that it would be possible. And I'm extremely fortunate to have had the opportunity to work with some of the best leaders, minority issue leaders on Georgetown's university campus. And it, it was a collaborative effort, it really was. And, um, when I was president of VSA, it was these individuals who were extremely resourceful, extremely insightful, hardworking, smart. They constantly challenged me uh, as the leader, and they, we were in it together, you know. I was driving the boat, but everyone was on it, and we were all steering towards the same direction. It has been an incredible journey with VSA. I can't wait to see where this goes in the next five to ten years because after I left presidency was when VSA really took off as a powerhouse organization and I could not be more honored to say that I was a part of this legacy. It has been an incredible journey an integral part in developing who I am and what kind of opportunities come my way. And I hope that this organization and organizations like it continue to build communities and relationships and continue to empower individuals to make positive change. To me, VSA will always be home.